said in Bikede, marking the third anniversary of my appointment as the seventh substantial rector of this great institution, East of the Niger, and the first female rector of this polytechnic. It is equally with the same joy that I address you on this occasion. In my second address about this time last year, I gave a review of our activities, achievements, and challenges, as well as new directions that would move the Polytechnic to greater heights. That was a stock-taking exercise. Today, we are also undertaking similar exercise of stock-taking of our achievements and challenges over the past three years of the inception of the current administration of the Polytechnic. Such an exercise, which has become a regular feature of our administrative style, is necessary in order for us to know where we are, where we are now, where we were before, where we are now, and where we want to be in the nearest future. In other words, this address represents a comprehensive assessment of the achievements performance and challenges of this administration as basis for mapping out new directions for the continuous and rapid development of our noble institution. In the rest of this address, I shall give an overview of our achievements in various sectors of the polytechnic governance, highlight our challenges and present future directions for the development of the polytechnic, brief review of my speeches, it would be nice if I use this opportunity to reinstate my vision and mission statements as well as state some of the highlights in my past speeches. On my assumption of duty of office, I gave my vision and mission director of this institution. I have made my ways clear to you all by reading out what I promised my God before I became the rector and today I read it again. I started like this after I uh, I decided to put my, in my application, then I had to go back to draw something to God and said this, Lord, from the depth of my heart, I ask for the forgiveness of my sins and pray to you to grant me my good heart desires. Lord, give me the post of a polytechnic rector I have applied for. If you say you will, Lord, I ask the following from you. One. Go with me then, stay with me, and come back with me at the end of my tenure in you, I pray, O Lord. Amen. Please, gracious Lord, let me never seek vengeance or victimize anyone. While on the seat, in your mighty name, I pray, Amen. Lord, keep away all the people that may constitute obstacles to the job in any way or form. In Jesus' holy name, I pray, Amen. The Savior of the world, my Lord and my God, I implore you, you give me a formidable team that has the fear of God to work with. In your dearest name, I pray, amen. Lord of hosts, do not allow this post to separate me from you or accept any ill advice to destroy innocent persons. In your name, I pray, O Lord, amen. The Lion of Judah, Lord of ages, you change water into wine. Do not ever permit me to lack in any way the resources to move the polytechnic to greater height. To you I pray, great one of Israel. Amen. Hear is Jesus, the avenger of the helpless. The rescuer, destroy the past or weapons of any devil or evil being that may be used to cause any untimely death, infirmity, deformity, or shame to any member of the polytechnic. In your wondrous name I pray, amen. Sweetest Jesus, bestow on me the theological and cardinal virtues as well as the gifts and fruits of the Holy Spirit needed to do the job so as to bring glory to your name. In your precious name I pray, Amen. The Holy One of Israel, direct and guide me with the prayer of Saint Francis. Protect me with Saint Patrick's breastplate and unite me unto you with the prayer of Saint Thomas Aquinas so as to operate by the rules and regulations guiding the polytechnic. I pray to you, O Lord. Amen. Gentle Jesus, let there be a harmonious working relationship with the council, staff, students, whose community, and all communities around the Polytechnic. In your holy name I pray, O Lord, in all the miracle working world. You know I am human. I may along the line go contrary to your law. I therefore pray you show me mercy and teach me how to correct my mistake. 
Lord, if there are other things necessary to bring glory to your name that I have not asked for, I humbly beg that through the intercession of your mother and the mother the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the angels and archangels of God in heaven, do them for me in your kindness, I pray, O Lord, amen. That was my prayer before I came on board.